Let's keep it on going here. Okay, so we have done independent and dependent variables before, but I want to refresh your memory because they can be confusing to keep them straight. And this little box right here is going to really help you if you need to um, look back if you can't remember something. So a couple of things here. One is we need to make sure we understand the definition of it, and then I'll also give you some tips and tricks um, for other ways to remember the difference between these. So I'm going to start with the independent variable. Stick, you know, Think about that word independent. Right? It means by itself. Right, It can do it on its own. So that's exactly what an independent variable is, the variable that stands alone. It doesn't like depend on anything. It just is going to happen regardless or it's going to happen first or whatever. Okay, That is typically going to be the x. That's really helpful with graphs or if it happens to be labeled on a table, um, the x is always the independent variable. And I kind of think of it as because um, I try and think of real world if I can, I kind of think of it as the ground, right? The ground supports us, right? And the ground is vertical the way um, on the, on the, I'm sorry, the ground is horizontal um, the way it is on a graph, right? It's the horizontal line. Um, so just that's the connection, right? X is like the ground, it's horizontal, it's supporting us, okay? The dependent variable is the variable that obviously depends on the independent variable, right? Like it can't uh, happen without the independent variable. And that will always be Y, whether it's labeled on the table or it will be the Y axis on a graph, right? And that's vertical. So imagine that's you, right? And you depend on the ground. So you're the dependent variable. The ground is the independent variable. We are vertical. Ground is horizontal. Just how like y is vertical, x is horizontal, okay? So those are some tips and tricks. If that helps you, you can also just memorize it, refer back to this often, all that kind of stuff. All right, let's jump into an example. So we've got a freight train moves at a constant speed. The distance y in miles that the train has traveled after x hours is shown in the table, okay? So we don't care so much about the numbers right now. We'll look at that here in the next video, but right now we're just trying to decide which one is the independent variable versus dependent variable. So again, the independent variable is the one that stands alone. It's going to happen no matter what, right? Or, or it's going to happen first, right? And hint, hint, right? It's the x, and they happen to label it for us on the table here. So time is x, so time is our independent variable, right? Time is going to happen no matter what. It's just going to keep on moving. doesn't necessarily mean anything else happens, right? Time just keeps on moving. Time is almost always the independent variable, okay? And again, it labeled with x. Lots of ways we checked out that that was independent variable. It stands alone. So then that means that the dependent variable is distance, right? Like the train's not going to go if it hasn't had a certain amount of time happen, right? Like it has to travel for a certain amount of time and then the distance hap happens as well. So distance was y and it depended on the time happening, right? It depended on the train actually getting going, okay? Um, so that is the dependent variable. Now I also put the labels here. You can if you want to, you don't have to, but the pieces we really need is independent variable is time, dependent variable is distance, okay? Let's try one more with a graph, okay? So the graph below shows the total cost when uh, given a number of photos to print. Okay, so if we look at our graph here, right, we see we've got number of photos, total cost. Now, very, very important, okay, make sure you read very carefully which one it's asking, because I've made this mistake too. You'll see later on the pre-assessment answer key, I accidentally made this mistake. So um, we want to know the dependent variable first this time. So we want to know which one depends on the other one happening, okay? And we can use our trick that dependent is always y, right? Like the way we depend on the ground, okay? So y. So total cost is dependent on however many photos are being printed, right? So total cost is the dependent variable, depends on the number of photos. Now again, you can put the dollar sign if you want. I just wanted you to see the label with it because that's how it is on the graph. So then that means the independent variable, the thing that needs to happen first or is going to happen regardless of something else, is number of photos, right? That is going to happen and then you will determine your cost. And it's on the x-axis, so that's your other key, okay? So if you need to go back and look at something, feel free, but otherwise you need to stop with your packet and go get your quick check from me before moving on to the next thing. You got this. Good luck.